right. Reporting live from Jane Equipment. Um, today I'm going to do a quick uh, video overview of the CA Technologies CPR gun. And that stands for uh, Cat Pressure Reduced. Um, the CA Technologies CPR and CPRFE line are the two guns we're going to go over today. Um, some people call it the Fee line. The FE stands for Finish Excellence. Um, they're both in the same line. I'm going to go over the differences here today. First, we'll start with uh, the full body uh, CPR gun. Um, this gun can spray both waterborne and lacquer coatings. Uh, this gun out of the box will come with both the HVLP air cap and your reduced pressure compliant air cap right out of the box. No extra purchase necessary. This gun can spray both HVLP and compliant. It's a great thing. Um, there's not many guns on the market that are doing this. That's one thing that CA Technology has a leg up on is that they ship a lot of their guns to be able to spray both ways. A lot of people are very familiar and comfortable spraying HVLP. If you ever considered making a switch over to compliant, um, the CA line is a great line to do that because you could keep spraying your HVLP like you always have been and then kind of move over to compliant once you're feeling comfortable, kind of do some test sprays and then officially switch to air cap when that time comes. Um, this gun is actually really comparable to the SATA Jet 2000 or the Binks Mach 1. Um, I would say as far as quality and finish, it is absolutely equal to those guns. The biggest difference is this gun comes in at less than half the price. Um, off the top of my head, I think this CPR retails for about $370. Um, where a Mach 1 is in the $800 or up range. Um, so one thing I do like about this gun is it's very comparable to a very expensive gun at half the price. The quality is absolutely there. This gun is assembled in the United States of America. It's an American-made product. Um, you know, repair parts are easy to find on these because it is all stateside. Um, a lot of the repair parts are also assembled here in America. Um, so, you know, if you're into buying American, CA Technologies is a great, uh, a great brand and they have really good stuff. It's really high quality stuff. Um, you know, you're not going to find this stuff on eBay. This is really high end stuff. It's, you know, priced really well, um, especially compared to some of their competitors. So if you're out there looking for something, maybe if you're looking for a Mach 1 and the sticker shock is scaring you, take a look at this gun. I think you'll be surprised, um, that it will literally give you the same quality at half the price. So we like that a lot. Um, and like I said, it sprays both styles, which the Mach 1 won't do that out of the box. You have to buy extra parts to kind of get it going back and forth, where this one will do it right out of the box, and that's great. Uh, let's go and look at the CPR uh, fee line or finish excellence line. Um, all the same features I just went over. This is assembled in America. Sprays both HVLP and compliant. Can do both waterborne and solvent base. Um, so what's the difference? This gun's a little lighter in the hand. It's a little thinner. It's a little smaller. Um, so it is a bit of a smaller gun. Um, I'm still going to say it's a, it is a full body gun. But you can definitely feel the difference between the two. It does feel smaller in the hand. Feels lighter. Um, you know... I think for people with a little smaller hands, this might be a little more comfortable, um, which is a plus. Um, one other difference, um, this one actually comes in at a lower price point uh, than, the, than the original CPR. The reason for that is um, this is about a 50-50 mix of aluminum and stainless steel fluid passages. So it's not full stainless like the CPR is. Um, but it can still spray waterborne products. It can still obviously spray uh, your lacquer products. Um, obviously, you just want to keep it clean, especially if you're using waterborne. You know, just clean it after every use to keep it, um, you know, working at its best all the time. Um, this gun is comparable to like a Satajet 1000. Pretty pretty comparable to a Satajet 1000 and the Binks Mach 1 SL, also known as the Slimline. Um, so if you're using like a Binks Mach 1 Slimline, this is a good piece to look at if you're looking to replace uh, that. Um, once again, it's going to come in at about half the price of a Binks Mach 1 Slimline and um, equal quality, if not better, honestly. Um, you know, I haven't sprayed with these myself to give you a lot of personal opinion on it, but I do sell a lot of them and the reviews I get on all the CA Technology stuff is really good, um, which is why I'm a big proponent of their stuff is because as a reseller, when you're selling high quality stuff, 
um, you know, you can always tell the difference um, with how your customers react to what you're selling them. And I always get good reviews from CA Technologies. Um, we love that they're made here in America, assembled in America. Um, you know, that does mean something to us. Um, they're right in Colorado, so any of my, uh, you know, people on the West Coast, uh, these are being manufactured right in Colorado. Um, and they're great guns. Um, that's pretty much a general overview of these guns. Just to kind of go over it again, both guns are going to spray HVLPN compliant right out of the box. No extra purchase necessary. Both guns are assembled in the United States of America. Uh, both guns can spray waterborne and lacquer. The original CPR is full stainless steel. The CPR FE line is aluminum and stainless steel fluid passages, about a 50 50 mix. That's pretty much everything you need to know about these guns. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.